Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video is like a follow up to the tea drop video I had and unfortunately the second kit that I ordered, the boba tea set or the bubble tea set, uh, wasn't in such good quality. I went ahead and I did submit an email and then I was able to do like a chat with them. They did take quite a while to respond. However, they took care of business. They went ahead and they said, we will go ahead and send you another box. And this is the box that I got. And so in total, I wanna say that it took about three days, which is really not bad to get a replacement. I was so happy tea drop as far as customer service, they're right on because I'm about to open this box, so now let's see what condition this box is in. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Before that, I do want to let you know that the Hello Kitty greeting card exchange that I have for Thanksgiving, the deadline already passed. If you are still interested in the Christmas greeting card exchange, you have until December 17th to let me know that you want to exchange with me. So remember, for the ones that are still not sure, you are exchanging addresses with me only. You are not exchanging an address with everybody in the group. Know that I do not give out your address. The address is for my safekeeping and for my information only. My first solicitation for the Hello Kitty Christmas greeting card exchange is only going to be with me. And again, it's just you and I. That, that is all. When I receive my greeting cards, I also like to make a video and show everybody what I got. I absolutely get so excited with everything that you send me. You do not have to buy uh, Hello Kitty greeting cards. You can have them homemade. Homemade are the best in my opinion. I will only give out the name and state. I do not give out any other information. Also, you do have the choice to tell me can you please not uh, post this on social media and or make a video show my card that I sent you. I'm perfectly fine for it because it can be private as well. It is totally up to you. That's just what I like to do. I totally respect if you do not wish for me to announce it on social media. Now, so I hope that I covered most of the questions that some of you guys had. Again, if you have any other questions, please send me a message on any of my social media. And again, the deadline to exchange greeting cards with me is December 17th for the Christmas greeting card exchange. So got the box and it is completely sealed. Well, except here, this was already there. This side is not opened yet. So I got like an invoice or a packing uh, slip and it tells me that they're including the Hello Kitty English breakfast bubble tea. So, and then this is the packaging. Cool, they did include some awesome stickers. I didn't get these on my first shipment. Um, but I'm happy. They're not Hello Kitty stickers, but they are tea drop stickers. These are cool stickers. I love stickers, so cool. So I got some awesome stickers and I got my Hello Kitty bubble tea kit. This box is not damaged at all. Yay, I am so happy and it is sealed, yay so far so good and so it looks like the same as the first box you get your English tea here you see the boba straw here and then your boba uh, here now I'm just going to pull out the actual bobas to see uh, the boba beads to see what condition the little packages are and it looks like they're in a much much better condition Yay, thank you so much, Tea Drop, for taking care of this issue. Um, just so you know, I did throw away the contents from the previous box. Once it's already open and one of the boba uh, beads was already opened up too, I just didn't have confidence to try to consume anything in that box and I threw it away. I did keep the straw, so now know that I now have two straws. But um, I am so happy that they took care of business. I am a happy camper. Now I am going to try to make some boba tea.
Okay, so my first impressions uh, from someone that has never had boba tea before. Making it was very interesting. So what these are, this is the extra little packet. And what these are, are I believe tapioca little beads. And you gotta cook them. And it was so interesting how they're so light, but once they're cooked through, they have like this dark amber brownish color. They're very slimy, very slippery. They have no taste at all. Uh, mixing it with the tea, it does give more of the tea a little bit more flavor. The, the straw, you are able to suck up the boba beads real easily, so there's no issues with that. Now, as far as was it to my taste, is this something that I can maybe continue to purchase, continue to make? Um, I think that I may. I think that what I am going to do, and my daughter said, you know what, you don't have to drink it with the tea because it does come with this English tea. Um, I think that next time, because I love, like I said, I'm a coffee drinker and I love my coffee really strong. So next time, I think that I am going to include maybe two of these little English breakfast tea packets and I am going to strain out all of the tea that falls to the bottom because what I was noticing was when I was drinking it, I was sucking up the boba tea, but I was also drinking up all of the sediments of the tea at the bottom of the glass and that was not too satisfying for my taste so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try to uh sift all of the sediments and just have the tea itself with the boba also my daughter said try it with coffee as well i drink coffee all the time i can also make this extra packet with coffee so that is what i am going to do so now as far as the overall experience, now I've never had gone to a shop, like I said, to actually purchase boba tea who, so for the ones that have uh, prepared boba tea professionally, mine was homemade. I'm not sure if I did some shortcuts and or maybe I didn't enhance the taste like maybe someone in a cafe would. Um, I'm now interested, it spiked my interest. So I am interested now when I go to a cafe that they are serving some boba tea, maybe I'll order that and see, did I kind of do a good job or maybe I can do a, maybe a better job for next time. But I would definitely would like to try it with coffee. So those are my reviews. I am absolutely happy. Tea Drop, thank you so much for fulfilling your promise. Customer service is great. Your fulfillment process is great. So I'm here to tell you, I am a customer for life. So thank you so much. I am so happy with Tea Drops and Hello Kitty collaboration. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.